Hey guys, this is Shane with OBQs. Gonna do some uh, tutorials on how to use the DigiQ app. So now that you've purchased your DigiQ Blue, you're gonna go ahead and download the DigiQ app from the uh, App Store or iOS Store, Play Store, whichever phone you're using. Uh, once you download the app, you can see I have it downloaded right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the app. And first thing it tells me is Bluetooth unavailable. Now I've purposely done this. I've turned my Bluetooth off uh, because you may not have your Bluetooth on when you first download it. So I'm actually using the Android app right now. We'll do another video for the iOS app. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the red Bluetooth unavailable. It's asking me, uh, do I wanna allow the app to turn on Bluetooth? Let's go ahead and click on yes. Now the Bluetooth's actually turned on, but now it says DigiQ Blue not connected. You can see the little Bluetooth now available just popped up. So now we're gonna go ahead and click again, click on the red um, Bluetooth not connected. Now you can see it's searching for a device. It actually says press the power button on your DigiQ Blue to turn it on. So I'm gonna take my DigiQ Blue. Uh, the power button is in that little circle right there. We're gonna go ahead and push the power button one time. And we're gonna hope that it connects, which it should do right away. It takes a moment. You can see under available DigiQ Blues, it's found Shane's DigiQ Blue. Uh, you may see some letters and numbers when you first do it. I've actually renamed my device, uh, which will be very easy for you guys to do. Um, but you can see I've already uh, named mine Shane's DigiQ Blue, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I am now connected. Uh, the DigiQ Blue is connected. It says uh, Shane's DigiQ Blue. And then the next thing that you will do will be go to the shooting tab. And it says put the DigiQ Blue on your queue, press the power button, and take a shot. And then you're very simply going to... Take the rubber housing with the DigiQ Blue in it, and you're going to slide it on the back of your queue, and you're going to play some pool, and you're going to see the results. Uh, that's it. It's pretty simple how to connect the DigiQ Blue to the Android DigiQ app. Hope that helped.